Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I want to show you how we create those diamond neurals that we see on a lot of our hardware products for gripping. I want to show you how we can model that in SOLIDWORKS. Um, here are some examples of what those uh, diamond neurals uh, sort of look like. So um, over here, if you notice, uh, there's a bunch of cuts that are done uh, and those uh, cuts kind of result in a shape that's uh, in the form of a diamond and uh, you know when you're gripping these uh, products it's uh, it's easier to twist and turn uh, using these grips as compared to just a, uh, a smooth surface over here so um, let's uh, quickly jump into SOLIDWORKS and see how uh, how we model these uh, uh, these uh, uh, diamond neurons basically so what I have over here I've got a simple revolve um, basically two cylinders over here uh, different diameter and what I've uh, created is uh, I've created a helix and spiral over here that's uh, basically wrapping around uh, this outside surface if you notice uh, it's a simple helix and spiral and uh, the other thing I have over here is the uh, um, the profile, the sketch for the profile that I'm going to be using to make that uh, make those cuts. So if I show you this sketch, um, here here it is. Um, notice it's uh, kind of digging a little bit uh, into the material. So this is where I can kind of judge how deep I want my cuts to be. So with the with this uh, uh, helix and spiral and this profile. Uh, the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to create a swept cut. So I'll use that feature. And I'm going to use my sketch profile that I've created to, to make that swept cut. So using the sketch profile option, I'll select my profile. And then for my path, I'll go ahead and select this helix and spiral. And um, as simple as that, it goes ahead and it shows you the little uh, profile of the cut that it's going to be making. And that's just following the uh, helix and spiral that we've created. So that's my first step. If I hit the green check, um, it show you, uh, shows you the nice uh, um, cut that I've, it has made following that uh, uh, helix and spiral. Um, so nice. now the next step is to kind of create multiple versions of this cut. So we can do that by uh, using a circular pattern. So if I um, select my circular pattern option over here for direction one, I can select any of these circular edges. In this case, I'll select uh, um, uh, this edge over here, and I already have a preview going on. So we, we're going to do, be doing equal spacing for 360 degrees, so it's ra it wraps around the whole entire uh, uh, cylinder. And for this case, I'm using uh, 25 as my number of instances, so it kind of wraps around uh, you know, nicely. Um, you can change that number to anything, and it will have the same effect. Your diamonds might be a little bigger. So with this uh, setting done, I'm going to go ahead and hit the green check and see what it's uh, able to produce. And uh, let's take a look at it. So it uh, has made all those cuts uh, um, in, in the same direction, basically patterned it about 25 times uh, respect to the first uh, spiral cut that we've created. And the last thing that I want to do is in order to get that shape, uh, the, the diamond shape, what I want to do is I want to mirror these cuts and the circular pattern. Um, so in order to do that, I can head to my uh, mirror tool and over here I can select either the top plane or the front plane since they're both going about, you know, cross. So in this case we'll use the front plane and uh, under features to mirror I can grab my circular pattern as, as well as the, uh, the swept cut. Now we want to make sure it's a geometry pattern so it only uh, copies the geometry. Um, of these uh, of the shapes basically and once you hit the green check uh, what you are uh, left with is uh, a shape like this so uh, it takes a little bit to kind of update the part and uh, it's a little graphically intensive so it, it, it will take about three four minutes to uh, uh, to update and show you the pro uh, the final model but once it's shown uh, this is what the um, model basically looks like so you see you've got some nice nice little diamond uh, faces all over and basically these are used for gripping and things like that so uh, pretty pretty neat take a uh, neat trick to create these uh, uh, these complicated shapes basically but if you notice I've only used uh, three different features to be able to kind of create this um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching mm -hmm.